is up, lads, and it is the Midnight Kid. It is Wezatron over here. We're finally doing. We're somewhere. Yeah, we're finally we're finally meeting face to face, Wes. Yeah, it feels it feels very very odd doing it through a very through emotional an electronic moment medium. for us, you know. <laughs> so we're getting a bit teary eyed, but yeah, we're back with the podcast. We're this is I don't know, Wes, what we're going to call it. Uh, just kind of a test, I suppose, for the new format we're going to be doing, which is going to expand over time, but. Uh, it's just going to be a podcast on we eventually want a live stream i suppose just to kind of do it maybe your more your idea was to kind of get it off the ground of like live streaming it for you know on twitch so people can get involved and like join yeah. the discord chat instead of like typing those messages to, to discuss they can come on and actually you know have a have a conversation and maybe you know yeah, maybe yeah. have a couple of rows you know might have to channel my inner right keen you know people are annoying yeah, me have, but... a, have a couple of rooks while we're here yeah no, but... yeah it's it's it, it's a way to kind of make it more interactive i suppose it's probably the best way to make it because we see we see comments on youtube we see comments on twitter and it's it's all about kind of maybe making it a bit more alive than than what it's been before because mm. granted we we do have a, a general structure to how we kind of do the podcast but ultimately we we do kind of riff a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think for this, I think it's gonna it's it's gonna it's gonna at least open it up a little bit more to like kind of you know people who do want to come in and have their say, and you know we can kind of run polls in the chat and things of that nature. Like yeah, there's but... there's a lot more there's a lot of mechanisms that can go into it, yeah. and of course you 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 may be watching this or you may be listening to mm -hmm. it. It's you know you do have the option of watching it on YouTube. You do have the option to listen to it where you get your podcast so uh, i think we're I think we're covering all bases is what we yeah about. yeah because a lot of people like to interact as it was a bit better and it probably suits us as well because sometimes i find with the topics it's like you know you can get guests on but even at that it's still kind of a one-way conversation like not in real time so especially when pez 22 comes out like it would be nice to be able to you know if somebody rings in and is like complaining that we can actually have the conversation instead of going back and forth like via text um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it's not, you know, once it's not abusive, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, and 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 that's the thing. It's it's you know whether you have a, a good a good opinion or a bad opinion of how things are going, it's still going to be a welcomed opinion because one way or the other, you know, you are getting what you want to say out there. It's just a case of just essentially keeping it clean, for lack yeah. of a better term. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, we're all here for the betterment of the game. Um, I think that's. You know, that's kind of why we do this podcast. It's why we interact with people on Twitter. It's why we interact with people through streaming and through YouTube and through all of the other bits. We that's that's what we're kind of here for. You know, we're here for the betterment of the game. So, yeah, I think uh, you know, I think the changes to the podcast that we're going to make, I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm excited about it. I mean, I will need to get a background though because <laughs> these curtains and this this duvet are doing nothing for my street cred. Yeah, mine is just like blank because all my stuff is like all my stuff is up this side so we can do like a i'll show you all my stuff i have like i'd be like all my bat batarangs and all that shit i'm like a big fucking nerd you know but um yeah i guess we just wanted to do this as a test and then also to kind of talk a little bit about pez 22 and like we're literally what six days away now from hearing it so we will probably do a blowout episode of the podcast once they announce everything um so i think it's like from the 20th they're announcing stuff the 20th and the 21st so yeah we'll probably have a lot more information and we can kind of go into that in a sec but i do firstly want to talk about the e euro because i got a lot of questions about the e euro and you know what oh, it was you? like yeah yeah i got a good few <laughs> questions um i was talking to shales today and he was asking me a good few questions laz uh, like there's just a lot of people that we talk to regularly but more so just to kind of go over that because you know a lot of people watched it they were interested yeah. in it what our opinions are it was my first time doing anything i owe, <laughs> I owe a huge thanks to you as obviously um i mean you broke the door in for that kind of that that channel i suppose of uh commentary and analysts and stuff so you paved the way um so well, i appreciate I think, I think you it's, fucking it's 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 full circle it's full yeah. circle because you know way way back when you know it was four years ago and we you know i was just the wesatron who had won a uk event here and there and then it was like oh hey actually there's this irish guy that wants to like get you in, get you in to do <laughs> stuff do you, fancy being, do you fancy being part of a community uh yeah sure why not and then obviously doors have kind of you know been left ajar is, is how i would say it. i've left you know you left enough jaws of doors ajar for me to kind of get kind of where i needed to get to mm. so you know it's it's only turned about his fair play and that and the fact that you know when not because i was you know to kind of let people kind of into a little bit of how it came to be that you became involved 
um, I was asked, or I was asked, as was um, Harry, in mm-hmm. terms of uh, kind of like, do you know any casters? And they, yeah, they had to be EU based. Now, granted, the you know the EU based guys that I would have put forward, the likes of Laza, the likes of Indominator, mm-hmm. the likes of Eldridge, uh, Ostry, all of these guys who you know you would have as an analyst were all playing for their own country (laughs) so it was like so it's kind of like well okay well and not not to discredit you yeah you were stuck with me man this is what you're you're i tried to pay you a nice compliment and you basically (laughs) say i was like eight choice or ten choice analyst appreciate that it's it's when mike bassett got the ingham job um (laughs) but he was like but to me it was like oh okay well again what makes the most sense so again i only put you know i put names forward Mm. and it was just a case of what what they chose and obviously they 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 chose you and they chose Alex and they chose Marta and they chose Rene and they chose D-Man. Um, and, you know, yeah, but even, 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 and... even for Asim as well, I know I'm not too sure if you watched this episode, but like, you know, even for Asim, like with E3 and stuff as well, that was a big, a big thing for me because yeah. I was fucking nervous, man. I mean, I was talking to you before it and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't nervous. Like I, I'm able to speak, you know, I wasn't like, oh, what if I forget how to speak? You know, I wasn't yeah. like that. But what if I forget to English? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. You know what I mean? There's a lot going on. And yeah. you and Harry obviously as well gave me a lot of advice. Um, yeah. But it, it was class. And the reason why I suppose I wanted to bring it up on the podcast, not just to, you know, give you a big, big head, but it uh, <laughs> was to like, it, it was so like it was so professional you know what i mean like it was actually it was such a, a brilliant event that like everything was laid on for us like you couldn't tell that you were guys were remote you know that kind of way it was so smooth and fluid that it was like the potential for this going forward i think if konami got behind it would be like massive you know that if you could get yeah. more people involved more competitions going on the whole time and not just kind of limited to you know like the e-football open or you know whether you're representing your country or not because there is a massive growth there i think for esports now with pez um you know like imagine imagine an 11 v 11 t- style tournament with that presentation or something oh. something like that you know like clubs or something it would be i was gonna say sick. you're getting you're getting all of those like league twitter accounts going absolutely <laughs> postal without idea but yeah, yeah yeah imagine having you know 22 people in a room somebody scores and yeah. it's like a dog pile like for the fact that they've scored <laughs> like, yeah, it would be yeah, it'd be it'd be class. Yeah, like, we'll and, and that's the thing. It's it, it it you know it goes back to a previous point that we've made on on the podcast, which I won't labour on too much. Is if you've got the licenses or if you've got the ability to use those licenses, then go ahead and use them. Mm. Maximise that potential. We saw it with the E City R. You know, we've seen it with you know we've seen the the likes of the competitions that 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 the other game put on. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, in terms of like their work, you know, the world. Well, it's like their world series mm-hmm. almost, or the world championship series. Like, use what you've got because yeah. you have got stuff there. Mm. You just need to be a bit more inventive with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, as as being remote, you know, it was it was kind of it was weird for me because it was like, okay, is this gonna work? Like, I I had nerves myself because I was like, okay, well, if something technical messes up, I'm either gonna sound like a robot or. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like something's gonna go wrong somewhere. There's gonna be some dirty gremlin, and then it turned out that it was Harry knocking his mic out through <laughs> one of the games. So then, so then all I've seen is just Harry just going <laughs> like just that. Literally, that was it. And I was like, oh great. So now I've got to do play by play as well as color. But luckily for me, it Smashed was it. It, it was an easy it was an easy transition to make because being a streamer, you you're kind of used to hitting things on the fly. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was you know from from a, from a from a watcher's point of view, the balance was right in the studio. You had Alex Algarcio, who is arguably one of the top three or four players to have played the game hmm. in terms of the level of consistency that yeah. he's been at, and then you had you to kind of supplement that with football knowledge with then marrying all of that together mm. so you had the best of both worlds yeah you know you had fun. the ability to to weave to weave the narratives in the way that you could mm. because you both had that knowledge to feed off each other yeah no it was good it i was think good you got practice. better as time go- and you got better as time went yeah, on as well the first day, like, the first day i was i was i was like miss like not missing a lot of cues but i was me and alex were kind of saying the same thing you know like as in we both had the same points uh, because it was like you know barry talk it, alex talk I, barry talk it, alex talk but then we started talking to each other and like we started yeah. to bring in marta even as the host and we we're like you know like what do you think or like if portugal were playing we were slagging her and stuff so 
yeah, it was a bit, it was yeah. a bit of banter, like, you know? Yeah, it was. It but, was like, good. I think if you're watching those things, and I said this to you as well, like, if you're watching it, like, it's like doing anything, like, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit down and watch something if I'm not being some bit entertained. Like, yeah, you yeah. could be interested in doing it, but even something like, if you watch any of the, like, Planet Earth or anything like that, even though it's educational and you're learning about the environment and animals and all that, like, it's still shot in a way that it's, like, exciting and entertaining. You know, there's always a yeah. hook there that's, like, fuck this you know what's going to happen next or whatever so i kind of went into it as if to say like look you know i'm just going to have the crack with it and not take myself too seriously not look up massive amount of stats not look up you know not not have like an encyclopedia of information on the players and just kind of call it as i see it and keep it simple as you said so yeah because i think because i think the key key to the key to good commentary and the key to to uh, you know analysis is yes keeping it simple but then it's reacting to the gameplay that you have in front of you mm. so you know you can't go and make a leap about you know i i i kind of cringed a little bit with some of the predictions that people were making where they were going <laughs> this is definitely gonna happen yeah. i'm like oh god no because yeah. that's because that's because that's you that's almost your cardinal sin is that if you then go this is definitely going to happen mm. and then it doesn't happen then you catch a problem for mm. example spain versus poland in the semi-final I'm pretty sure one of the commentators turned around and went, Joe, you know what? This is definitely, this is definitely going to be Spain and this mm. is definitely going to be this. And I was like, it, you, it, it, it's, it's better from a, from, a, from a viewer standpoint to tee it up in a balanced fashion to yeah. go, okay, well, Spain have got the pedigree. They've got the players. They've got this. But also, there's team spirit. There's all of those intangible qualities, mm. which was the phrase that I kept coming out with because yeah. it's, the way, it, it, it's a way to kind of say, do you know what? These guys have got all of these brilliant qualities. These have got all of these wonderful talents that they have. But do they have the intangibles that the other guys do? Mm. Do they have the heart? Do they have the passion? Do they yeah. have the drive? And do they have the resiliency? Those are those are traits that you are inherent within people. And I'd imagine that anybody at that tournament has those. Mm. It's just a case of who wants it more and who's going to execute yeah. properly. No, you're but right. for like a, for, for like your first experience, like how how did you find it being in another country, being away? Yeah, it, was, it was weird with the COVID, like and all the precautions, you know, because it was like I had to get a test like two days before I even flew and I was like I couldn't really I didn't tell anybody. Obviously you knew, but like I couldn't really tell anybody just in case that my COVID test was negative. So I would have been yeah. putting up a big announcement on Twitter and then be like actually uh no i got covid <laughs> no i didn't yeah. think i had covid i was like sure no you know, I it's, that, myself, it's but... that thing of you don't want to be the guy that's setting it up going hey i've got yeah. this really cool thing coming and then yeah. it doesn't happen and then you're like ah yeah, yeah. i didn't and, I, I, and to be honest with you i didn't really tell anybody either because i wanted i didn't want like the you pressure <laughs> yeah i didn't want the pressure to be on to be like you know like people watching not obviously until until i was ready to go and i had my covid test done and like I'd met Alex and you know, we were like, got on yeah. really well. like I met Alex literally like he, I was there the Monday and he landed Tuesday morning. He was the first one there apart from me. So I was there Monday. That was the only flight out from Ireland that I could get was Monday. And then yeah. he was there Tuesday and like, I'd never met Alex before. I've talked to him <laughs> briefly over WhatsApp, like text when we've arranged, when he played in the Pez oh, universe cup. And stuff, yeah. 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 Last year when he won that with the one Griezmann played in and that, but it would be mostly Xavi, Pez Universe Spain guy that would talk to him. And yeah. like, I'd say he was in about an hour, I'd say, in the hotel. And, and he, we had a group chat, obviously, for all the like, you know, the yeah. broadcast team. And he was like, oh, I just put in a message. And I was like, look, I'm going up to the shopping mall or the center. Um, I had to get a belt for the mic. I br- never brought a belt for the mic, you know, to <laughs> stick on. Fucking first world problems, man. But uh, they told me to buy a belt, so I was like, "Look, I'm going up to the, I'm going up to the to the shopping center if anyone wants to come." And Alex was like, "Yeah, yeah, come up." And like literally, I'd say within the space of two minutes, we were talking as if we knew each other, like genuinely, as if we knew each other for fucking years. Yeah. Like you know, he's he's, he's got such a, a nice he's... guy, you know. Yeah, he's got a very infectious personality. Yeah. Like whenever I went over to to eat, or whenever I was going over to eat football pro, or. Or anything. He, when, as soon as he's the first, he's when he when you're the first one through, or when you're through the door, he's the first one to come and greet you. Yeah. He's the first one to come and ask how you are. Talk pairs with you. Talk football with you. To just talk. Like yeah. no, the man loves to talk. Don't get me yeah. wrong. And it was, <laughs> oh, it was a per- he's perfect for that role. Yeah. It's just it's like, but it's like you said, it's it he, having people like that around you makes it easier to do the roles that you need to do. Yeah. 
So and even Marta, imagine... like I met Marta, we met Marta then, she was next and it was like the same thing. Like we all just went up and just like that night we went out for dinner and it was like, you know, we were just sitting around talking about everything. It wasn't even Pez, it was just like talking yeah, about everything. Yeah, yeah. And because she, she obviously has done a few things for PlayStation Portugal before, but she hasn't really done... Uh, like she hasn't done a massive amount of Pez stuff. I know she did one in 2019, I think it was. Yeah, it's the World Tour one, I think it yeah. was. Or, um, an, or a regional final. That was it, regional final. The regionals, yeah. But like, yeah, it was just... Got, and Rennie and like D-Man as well. Like everyone, we had a really good group over there. Like we all got on. We all went out for dinner every evening together. We had breakfast together. We had lunch yeah. together. We were with each other for 10 hours in the studio. So like, yeah. you know, it's, it's great that like none of us wanted to fucking chin each other, you know, that we all got on and... <laughs> You know, because I, sometimes like putting five people together, like I'm Irish, Rene's Dutch, yeah. uh, Lee is English, Alex is Spanish, and Marta is Portuguese. So like, it's a, it's a, it's a big it's mix. A joke somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, there's some joke <laughs> in there somewhere. But uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, man. It was some experience. Like, you know, I'd love to. I'd love to do something again now, knowing what I know in like yeah. hindsight. It's like E3 when I did E3 with Asim. Like the first two days, I was like shitting it. I was like. You know, I, I remember the first five minutes of the, the stream, I didn't, I forgot to switch on the mic so nobody could hear yeah. me. And I just stepped in my head. I was like, oh my God. Like, but now yeah. if I went back, I'd be a bit more, it's like anything, man. The more you do it, you know, you get better at it. But yeah, yeah. I remember the, the first, the first eFootball Pro one that I went to. Um, well, I remember the first eFootball Pro I went to where they do like the analysis, like the, the, uh, the, like they used to do the live show and then they would do the analysis bit but they do mm. that as a recording to just bolt on oh yeah i get you and and then and then it became me becoming co-commentator which mm. i was not expecting when i landed because i got into the studio with that there's your cards you're in yellow <laughs> i was like okay looking through looking through the cards and it says live commentary and i'm like wait you want me to commentate and they were like uh well yeah we thought you know that might make it a different little vibe Bearing in mind, we had a match of the day commentator in in, in Mark Scott sat yeah, yeah. as the main host. Yeah, yeah. So I'm there going, "Are you sure you don't want him?" And they're like, "No, no, no, no. He's going to be mad. He's going to be like the main host, and then Harry and you are going to be commentating." I'm intending. And that's kind of where that partnership kind of was born. Mm. Was you know the first time we did it, I think I jumped over him in a, in 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 one sense. Yeah. Uh, one, I crashed one of his vocals. I think it was it was Barca Juve and Barca scored the last minute and Guifera got up and gave it one of them and then I jumped over his audio and then like afterwards he was just like just let you know just try not to crash my audio I was like <laughs> fine he only had to ever tell me yeah. once and I've never done you know I, I if I do it it's very rare now that I do it but it's like you said it's like you have those nerves and you have those yeah gym. it's nervous energy but, that's what it is like. yeah but then the minute that red light goes on it's like bang yeah like i remember i remember the excitement of everybody on social media i remember mark scott getting up from the desk when the lights were off and he basically just went where did you get this guy from he's a natural and i was like okay well an actual commentator who gets paid to do this <laughs> he's telling me that i'm a natural at commentary okay i'm done that's fine i'm done i'm done that's yeah, it that's all i need it's 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 a cool feeling it's, isn't it it's when the it light is, goes red mad. like and you're live like it's a, like, fuck, like better not pick like my nose imagine, here yeah, and I'd imagine the buzz that you probably got from probably ASL or you know the you know the the guys in the yeah, studio. Probably... Like the thing, the thing about it that was like surprising to me was like I was saying to the lads after the first couple of games that we analysed, I was like, oh fuck, like you know I don't know, like I think that was a bit shit, like or a bit whatever. And then the lads were like, like they'll tell you, like ESL will tell you, like they won't, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't, like they literally we made one mistake in it. It wasn't really our mistake, but we were meant to. We were like filler. It was like your you manager in our yeah. ear saying fill, fill, fill. So like I, I didn't, I was talking and I didn't hear him because I had the volume turned down a bit. Yeah. Um, and I kept talking, kept talking. And then I was like, put it back to Marta. And then Marta was like, yeah, so I think we have the casters ready. And then they weren't ready. So like the match wasn't <laughs> ready. They were still doing the tactics and stuff. And like yeah. straight away, they were, they were in their ear, in their ear. They were like, don't do that again. You need to fill. You need to fill. Don't do that again. I was like, okay. Like, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I like that. I like when people are straight out rather than yeah. let you do a shit job, make a fool of yourself, and then tell you afterwards. Like, you know, yeah, so I yeah, like yeah, that yeah. direct yeah. approach. Like, of if we, like, they basically said to us then after that, I asked them, I said, Look, is there any feedback? Because I've never done anything like this. And yeah. they were like, No, we'll tell you if you're doing something wrong. Don't worry. Yeah. So yeah I was yeah. like, Okay, cool. But, um, like, like, we had it all the way through, like, because obviously me and Harry did the qualification with the playoffs and, you know, it, it is that kind of sinking feeling that you get yeah. is that once you've done one, it's then 
do people have feedback for mm. you and then it's when they do have feedback it feels like a just a gut punch yeah. like i jumped into the twitch chat like i was multitasking like of which if people watched it live they wouldn't have guessed that i was jumping in because there was a point <laughs> yeah. there was a point where i made an analogy and i know i mentioned this too yeah and i mentioned it to the person in in the chat as well and it wasn't in the case of that i was jumping in there to be like oh you need to stop criticizing it was more a case of they had gone you know i'd made a i think somebody had scored and i referred to it as like being a body bone a body blow in boxing mm. and somebody in the chat was like Man, man's comparing uh man's comparing pez to boxing and i oh, went Jesus. and i literally got onto the chat and i went hold on it's a fair analogy leave me alone and they were like oh sorry and they're like, oh how, how are you and i was like yeah i'm fine i'm just commentating <laughs> sorry, how are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just i'm just commentating um i'm just commentating uh ukraine versus italy and they went oh and then there was uh, obviously some of the regulars like crank uh, i think i saw crank power in there i saw tembo in there uh super steaden uh straight ahead all these guys and they were like wait a minute you're comment how are you commentating and chatting i'm like i'm a streamer it's 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 a normal thing like to a point where they genuinely question whether the feed was live or not yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. there's no way he can do both i'm like well if there is it's just you keep your eyes on the game and you're commentating the game whilst you're typing with your hands there yeah, it's yeah. really simple yeah but well, um, it's simple but yeah, when you're good it's, at, like it's not simple like it is you know if it either comes natural natural to you or not like if you're yeah. able to speak and multitask and like yeah. i think i think streaming and even podcasting and stuff is a good like prep for that you know because it's not easy to it's not easy to like be speaking and making sense you know like yeah. about what you're actually watching while you're concentrating on the ear and you're in your fucking yeah your or a voice in your ear and then you have to press buttons like we had a cough button so like if we were making any <laughs> any noises at all, like if we were shifting our weight because we were on these little boxes to stand up over the desk because like yeah, Ren, we're all Ren fucking Ren hobbits. Did you yeah. Like yeah, he did. Yeah, Renee fucking... did you dirty. <laughs> it's like it, we were like in the Shire as, as the hobbits, but me and Alex. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was just that the fucking table was so big, man. It was fucking huge. But uh, like anytime we shifted weight or anytime we moved our feet or whatever, we were making noise. Like it was, it, it was yeah. so sensitive that we had to hold the cough button. So like every couple of minutes that the thing we'd be live and the cameras be in your face and next thing you'd just be fucking you you'd just be like, Oh Jesus, I can't wait for the screen yeah. to go and then you can like so hold I can and move like, <coughs> coughing like yeah. fuck. But, but this is the thing these are all the things at home that I don't think people really take into kind of consideration that you have these types yeah. of things like you know, it's like you said, that you, you you have to kind of be adaptive and you have to be able to kind of you know, pivot if something goes wrong. Mm. You know, and we, and I think as a whole, as a team, as a broadcast team as a whole, I don't think a lot went wrong. No, it I was mean, good. It was. Yeah. It went. It went very well. In fairness, we were lucky. Like, you know, yeah. we were lucky that the production was there. That it was like, it was something that we probably for the first one, like I couldn't have, especially me as my first ever time doing that. Like, I couldn't have got a better yeah. production. You know that kind of way. That like, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything was laid on everything was perfect like you know we went in and into the studio then when we weren't live we went in and we'd analyze the game so like me and alex were sitting down in marta and we'd like pick a couple of points and then we pick up on a couple of points you guys were saying yeah or like Rene was saying or whoever was saying like you and harry were like teeing up some fucking really good talking <laughs> points for us and we were just smashing them home then like where i'd yeah, say to yeah. alex right you run with that what weza said i'll run with what harry said vice yeah. versa whatever um I was, I was a little bit jealous though, I'm not going to lie, that you got, got to use Tell Australia. Oh, I was man. literally there in the chat. I was literally there in the chat going, I was standing around to Harry and I was going, they've got Townsend's tactics truck here and I, I can't use it. <laughs> I'm fuming. I'm absolutely livid. I was like, I'm, I'm buzzing for them, but I'm also livid. Yeah. Um, and I said to Harry, I was like, when, if and when, you know, kind of eSport events go back to, to, normal yeah i think they will eventually up. i think it will be I says, better I says you've got to tell the guys at eFootball pro that we need to tell us yeah show. oh man we, it was we, the stuff me and alex were doing like off, off the stream like the stuff we were doing like with clips like i i must check actually the google drive because there's like we had a google drive of like say stuff we were doing and analyzing that we didn't have time to go into up while we were oh, wow. in between games yeah so we were like just getting to grips with it like of how to do things and how to draw yeah like quick and patterns and stuff you could like customize your own toolbar so like alex could have his own toolbar down the left side of the screen i'd have mine on the right 
brilliant. There was a lot of stuff we didn't really get into into too much. We kept it as simple as possible on the stream, but yeah, it was it was sick. But um, yeah, man. Look, I suppose it's good to it's good to chat about it because a lot of people were asking me about the experience and that. So that probably covers everything. But just to kind of touch on get down to the business the business side now my camera keeps going out of focus i don't know what the fuck's wrong with it <laughs> yeah i think so is mine yeah i, mean, mine's, mine's I think it's the light a... i have a light yeah. up here like a hue uh like for my face but i think it's because i'm wearing a hat but like <laughs> my hair is actually so bad tonight that i need to get a cut but um no i mean i think yeah i think for everyone listening they're probably just all their eyes are or all their attention now is going to turn to 22 you know or whatever pez 22 or whatever it's going to end up being called yeah um let's see but like we're six days away i suppose and i don't think we're going to know anything until we know everything that's kind of the way it's going to be i think that like obviously there'll be some bits and pieces that like you know we probably can't get into because yeah. it's not public yet and that's just you know par for the course of being a community site that like there is probably some things that that are there that i think everything that's going to come out next like next week is i don't even know what's going to come out i don't know what they're going to reveal are are they going to reveal like you know a gameplay trailer and then yeah. a release date you know a release plan a roadmap are they going to release just like you know a small 30 second teaser trailer the name of the game the cover star and then more details that games come like we don't really know um yeah. but like where like where's where's your head at it now with six days to go in this like where's <laughs> I know not. There's not much to talk about. We'll keep it short and sweet. It's, we'll probably only talk about twenty minutes. But like, where's your head now? With only six days to go until the game is coming out, like, or well, the reveal. We'll, sorry. Well, well, given given what you know, given obviously the previous podcast and what we were talking about, yeah, you know, my main kind of book there is is the communication or, or lack thereof. Mm. Uh, I think it's still it's still dicey at yeah. this point, in the sense of you know that they could come out with all of the you know the bells and whistles that everybody's asking for next week but if the delivery of the message isn't right mm. you it's going to cause chaos regardless yeah. and yeah. i think for for me it it's going to be about the delivery of it it's not going to be it's not going to be how it's not going to be the content of it it's going to be the delivery of it yeah. and, and i think the expectation next week I think I think they can get a leg up on on EA if they release a gameplay trailer, mm. not not a this was used using in game footage yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, or none of that. Give us something gameplay wise, because again, as we spoke about, the main worry of the the online performance test was was that that route of the gameplay is going to be what people are expecting twenty twenty two to be, mm. and I think that that myth or truth whichever it is it needs to be yeah. either proven or disproven one way or the other um and i think it, i think next week is, it, it is critical and i think you know i think looking at uh you know i know you might be slightly more privy to, to info than than i will but looking at the way it is going mm. or at least how how i'm foreseeing it is that you know this could be the this could be the least Pez game yeah. that there could possibly be. Like yeah. this could be like the, the like this could be as far away from a Pez game as humanly possible. Mm. Uh, and and that that in itself is is a worry because I think it's going to get to a crossroads with people now where they're going to go right. Do I continue playing this game or do I not continue playing this game? Yeah, yeah. Like the the, the thing the thing that I uh, me and you were I uh, used the cough button. I like that. I like that. I've got a mute button yeah, on the yeah, yeah. It's, like nice, it's nice, it's nice, yeah. But the thing, the thing I like, I was kind of me and you were talking about this last night actually, and we were saying it, and we kind of this is why I wanted to do the podcast was like, I think Pez has already changed from the franchise. Like, if you sit back and you think, and you think about what Pez was, like what Pez started out as, and what it grew into to be one of the you know the best sports games ever back in the day, and I would even say that. Up until Pez 2013, I still think Pez was provided that. You know what I mean? I know yeah, people yeah, go back yeah. and they say, "Oh, Pez four and five, yeah, they were they were the golden years." I, Pez five is my all time favorite sports game. You know, so like yeah. I would be the one that would wax lyrical about that more than anyone if I if I was let. But Pez 12, 13, you know, fourteen was obviously a down point. But I think Pez twelve and thirteen were were pretty decent. 
I thought yeah. Pez 15 and 16 were good, you know? So, yeah. but saying that, like, Pez, Pez is like just pe- the only thing it has in common nowadays with those older Pez games is the name Pez. That's it. Like, yeah. it's not the same franchise. Like, and people yeah. that are playing the game now aren't playing the game the way that they played it back with Pez 4, 5, and 6. You know, Pez 4, 5, and yeah. 6 was go around your mates with your memory card and your teams and Adriano yeah. and have all your house rules and a bit of banter and who's the best and winner stays on and all this. Like, gaming has changed so much that, like, you know, the emergence of online that I personally don't think it's a bad, a bad thing if Konami were to come out and say, listen, this is the direction we're going in. You know, like, it's not going to make everyone happy or it's going to make everyone happy. Depends on what they decide to do or what their angle is or what their direction is. But, like, I just want them to see to come out and be confident and just make the decision that, like, look, this is what we're going to do in this year. You know, people that don't like it aren't going to play it. People that do like it, there needs to be enough content there along with the new direction or along with whatever direction they're going with. Like, you know, if it's Master League or if it's my club, there needs to be enough content there that people that are actually going to enjoy the gameplay enough that, you know, they go down that angle where it's like, yeah, okay, I want to play my club. I have a really good team after a month. Now what? Like, which is the problem yeah, that has yeah, been yeah. in my club for the last, what, two, three years more? um yeah, yeah. whereas like that like to me i don't think you know like i always i go back to warzone like you know the same people that criticize warzone when cod decided that they were going to skip a year of making a campaign mode in one of their games it was like oh cod has always been campaigns multiplayer zombies like you know it's not cod anymore you're ruining it blah 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 like warzone has probably been one of the best cod experiences for me and yeah. all those people that complained about it have now come around to thinking, yeah, like it can coexist with the main games. So yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with them reinventing the franchise, but I just want to see a bit of confidence in what they announce and say like, look, this is the direction that we're going in. Whatever it is, if it's Master League, if it's my club, if it's whatever they're deciding, a new mode, whatever. I think, you know, like just decide what they're going to go for and just go for it and just don't be worrying yeah. about like is the defending too difficult is the speed too fast or too slow just go with the division that you that they want to go with and then just leave let the game breed and just fill it with content like no matter which mode it is and that's that to me because pez like pez like master league has never been as good as it was back in pez 4 or 5 you know what i mean so like yeah. i don't think that it's I, I, I don't know anybody that's playing Pez like they did back with Pez 3, 4, and 5 now. You know what I mean? Like, anyone that yeah, complains yeah, yeah. about Pez now is either... The majority of people that I see is either about online, the stability online and the lag and all that. Some people have connection issues and content. Like, there's literally nothing yeah, to do yeah, yeah. in any game mode in Pez 2021 at the moment. You know, apart from yeah. using your own imagination. Yeah. And so, that's why people. That's why people start. That's why people start my club series. That's why, you know, you see like uh, precisions like Scotland. Uh, you know, like the SPL series. Yeah. Like it's where you see the you know Vern Silver Surfers. And the reason why I, I, I'm using UK guys is because that's the content that I would watch. Mm. You know, you've got people using theme squads now, and you've got Seth who's trying to do like kind of like oh well I'm going to build a X squad tonight, and this yeah. is what I'm going to do. Like because the reason the reason that repetitive. Like the reason that experience to keep drawing you back in, mm. you have to make your own experience, which yes works for some people, <laughs> but for the vast majority it, it doesn't. You know, we talk about you know we talk about oh well is is the game made for the older gamer anymore? It's not no, but is this you know was PES twenty twenty was PES twenty nineteen was PES twenty twenty one were they built for the newer gamer? I don't think they were either. Mm. I don't think they were built for either gamer. Yeah. I think they're just built to just go. Let's just get it halfway out. Halfway house, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's it's halfway house. You you've not committed down one road or the other. Like like if Konami come out in the morning, they went look. Actually, our target demo is like eleven to eighteen year olds. I'm like, okay, fine. Mm. I, I I get that totally. But you know, if they're trying to cater to everybody, which is what you would think a business would want to do. Yeah. Well, as a like a casual game like that, a sports game is always for as many people as possible, as many yeah. demographics as possible. 
So it's not like so Last of Us Two or something like that, I suppose. Yeah. So if you're so if you're little little Timmy down the road and he's like, yeah, I can see that there's like the Pez light and I can see my club and I can go and get Messi because they're giving me Messi. Okay, great. That that's fine. That that suits little Timmy. But actually, what sorts out Barry and Wes, who are actually mm. older gamers who would probably prefer to do a Master League or prefer to do a Become a Legend? There's nothing there for yeah. them. I mean, no, random no selection. Plenty. I mean, random selection. Hell, I mean that's not even been made on. Yeah. It's still not online. Yeah, an huge, online mode. A mission like. And it's like it's like. Well, hold on a minute. You know, if gaming has moved, which it has quite clearly since the days of when random selection was back in. Mm. You know the older pezzies, bring it to online. Yeah. What, what's the problem? Because again, then you then open it up to then people going. Ah, oh, do you know what? I can go and play my mate's time. We can have a best of five, and we'll pick. We'll, we'll make random. You know, we'll make like oh well, we'll take the Brazilian league, or we'll take the Italian league, and or we'll take yeah. some specific teams. Yeah, you could add uh, and, it, like... and and go all different ways with it, and then it allows people to then go and enjoy a game in a different fashion because mm. the people who. You know, where they talk about, oh, well, people have gone full blue and people are just playing around the back and stuff. Instead, if you're playing with your mates, it's a much more social and I would dare say a better experience oh, playing it against yeah. against people. You know, I played one of my first games last night in six weeks and I had my 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 stream um uh, my stream kind of name as my club name because that's what you do when you're a streamer folks you try and get as many eyeballs on you as possible but I played against the guy the guy jumped in my chat after the game it was a 1-1 draw it was a great game mm. so good as mm. in like really good he double touched it past my player and he equalised in the last minute and I was like oh, do you know what that's, that's a great finish mm. comes into my chat and he's like oh, GG that's the first fair game I've had today mm. and I'm like well if that's the attitude of people if they're going down this route and again I suppose, I suppose, you know, esports and Pez League and and the you know the eFootball Open and eFootball Pro and uh, and the eEuro to a, to kind of a, a, a lesser well a lesser extent. If what you see is people being successful with either a well, I well, I determined as a negative or a you know you ha you say yeah it's possession, but that's why I was using the term passive possession. Mm -hmm. It's like it's possession. But it ain't really possession. Mm. It's just you just holding it in the back. Uh, you know, I think I saw it in one of the games where it was like six minutes gone and I saw somebody go for the corner. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just not having that. Not, mm. at, not at this level. I'm sorry. Like, there are people who are watching you. And I saw being people in the chat react to this as well. It was Cassiero, bless it. You know, I'll say butcher, butcher your name. But he was like, do you know what? This is my team. We're like, we're, we're quality players. And yet we are basically doing what, you know, you would see in my club 95 yeah. times out of 100 mm -hmm. you know and it's like and, and that's and that's the thing is that if, if people are informed off of those successful and effective metas which is what you know going yeah. full blue and, and playing possession which you've got one up, it just makes it a negative experience for everybody else because you could come up against i could come up against or you could come up against one player and it could sully your entire evening if somebody just mm -hmm. plays it negatively whereas yeah. if you if i had a best of five against you I'd probably be like, oh, do you know what? This has been this has been class. This yeah. let's do this again. Yeah, and because every I game is like that, though. Too. Every game is like that. Like I think it's it's like anything. It's like Warzone. You can get into a lobby and it's like yeah, everyone's aggressive and everyone is whatever. And then you can go into another lobby and it's like everyone is sitting in fucking you know sitting in corners hiding behind doors. Or yeah, like, yeah, hiding yeah. behind doors, like playing like rats. You know what I mean? And it's like <laughs> I just you know it is. I think Pez especially like you need to you need to be able to give people the tools to combat that, you know, to, to be able to like, right. If somebody yeah. wants to play like that, you have to be able to give them the tools to do it. Yeah. Um, Cause you can, you can go, you can go full red and you can go get compressed and you still wouldn't touch yeah, the sides. I'm trying, yeah. to, I'm trying to put any press on them. Yeah. And it's, and, and similarly it's, it is the same with the other game as well. You hold teammate contained on the other game. They run to within about five yards, and then they just kind of stand mm. there. They don't, mm. they don't actually yeah, go don't and attack. fully press the tackle, mm. and then as a result, then it's like you're having to then go and play press team press, and you know you can at least try and make it a little bit more difficult to get the ball, you know, for people to get through. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, you know, to to kind of come back to the original point, it's all going to be about what they choose to share. It's mm. all going to be about how they deliver this message, and more importantly. I don't, I don't, again, to echo what I said last podcast, I do not want it to be a case where the community has to make sense of their press release. Yeah. No, they have like, to come out like, and just say what it is and what, what, yeah, what they're like, going for. And like, like, I understand that they're going to, they're going to probably use like, oh, well, we've got this, 
that you know we've got this new mechanism or, or whatever the case may be mm. which is all well and good but ultimately it's fluff it's fluff until we see it in game it's fluff until we see a demo it's fluff until we see the full game yeah it's fluff until we see the first three months of the game because as we've seen through data packs and through release notes you don't you don't know what they actually change and mm. you don't know what the actual gameplay adjustments the impact, the yeah, it's gameplay adjustments, and it's like, okay, well, what have you adjusted then? Yeah, and it's just like, okay, well, it just if it, you know that, and that's and that's where this this kind of level of distrust has come from. It's come from a place of if you're gonna be if you're going to be <laughs> deliberately obscure and kind of uh, you know like opaque, then of course then people are just gonna go, well, you just you just lying to us, then, ain't you? Mm. And that and that's where it comes from. And that's why I've be kind of become the kind of negative Nancy of of a lot of people at the moment is that I'm just sat there kind of going, yeah, do you know what? It all sounds well and good, but until the game comes out, well, what what are we actually doing? Yeah, like, it's what like are we doing here? No, man. The marketing behind yeah. the game now is, you know, it's 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 a massive part of of the game. You know, like yeah. look at the FIFA trailer the other day, like. Yeah, no, as soon as that it, came out, as soon as that came out, and people were like, "Did it show gameplay?" I was like, "No." Yeah, of course not. No, but they don't need that. Like that, that that's their, to. you know, it's like NBA Two K had a similar thing yesterday. They released all the, the cover stars and stuff, and it's like that's, you know, that's their route in. They start their promotion by doing that, like the cover stars, and yeah, like they get big names involved, and you know, like, you know, I just think that this year with 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 Pez, like, they need to, like. You need to have, I think nowadays, and we've said this before on the other podcast, like you need to either have like a like a content hook or you need to have a social hook, and yeah, like it's one or the other. Yeah, or both else both. it's both. If you have both, like you're one of the yeah, best games both. around at the moment. Like no matter, it doesn't matter what the gameplay is like. If FIFA, you ask ten people what FIFA is like gameplay wise, six of them might say it's trash, four of them might say it's 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 good. Like it doesn't really, it's irrelevant really to what FIFA is offering because. It just bombards you with like content. content, bombards you with enjoyment of like, you know, you can score bangers, you know, it's it's fairly stable online. You know what games you're gonna be getting, you've a lot of options, yeah. you've a lot of challenges and stuff. Whereas like with Pez, it's like you're forced to play Pez a certain way. And if you don't play that certain way, you're you're not going to you know, you're not going to get results like you know what I mean. Yeah, well, well, we saw we saw it in the Euro. We saw we saw that 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 kind of triangle play that mm. was, you know, it's an AMF that plays it to the the side striker who then plays it back into the centre, mm. which then goes back out to the the guy at the side, and then it was it was it was it's to trigger an extra run so that yeah, yeah. basically the 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 centre of the park becomes overloaded. Yeah, and that and that's kind of all it was, and that's why sometimes sometimes it's it's not the greatest of football to watch because mm. there isn't that many there isn't that many ways of you know there, it, there's effective ways to goal but there isn't effective ways to score yeah. if that makes sense it always seems to go through that kind of mechanism and that's why i normally go you know <clears throat> arse over tit when i see like you know greece do their left stick dribbling that took out like four mm. players and, yeah it was class you know, bang it off the post i'm like yeah do you know what actually i'm gonna go off handle for that because do you know what that's actually a piece of brilliance like, mm. that's actually like somebody going well actually i can just left stick dribble out of here and, and kind of get through and and that you know yeah but there, like, there's, understand... a skill, there's a skill in it as well in a way that like the way i'd see it is that like you know, if, if if you're playing the meta and I'm playing the meta and we're both doing the same thing, there is a skill in mastering that as well. Like, and the, you know, a lot. I think a lot of the time on my club, and it's it's the same with me. Like, when I lose a game on my club, I, like, complain about th different things. When I'm winning, <laughs> I don't really complain. Like, I'm just like, yeah, I got a bit lucky, but, like, I deserved it. He was shit. Or, like, you know, ah, <laughs> uh, he was, like, he was a rat or whatever. I was like, I'm delighted I beat him. But, like, when you win games, it's fine. It's like anything, you know, when you're winning. But like I think when you I think with Pez like when you lose a game, you start to see the issues like come to the fore like very quickly. If you're like down one nil, and the guy is playing it around the back, and it's like like what are you doing? Like you know, just play. Like just score two or three against me. You don't have to sit back. You're obviously good enough to beat me, so just beat me. Yeah, like, don't yeah, fucking yeah. sit back. You're not getting anything for beating me here. Literally, yeah. are just sitting down, spending the evening playing the same as me. You're winning. I'm losing. We're still 
Like, you yeah. know what I mean? It's not like I'm going to have to go without my dinner if I lose to you as a punishment. But that's what that's the mentality yeah. people have playing online. Yeah, it's just yeah. try hard mode all the time. Um, but, but but that, again, leads back into previous point, which is they've got nothing left to play for. Yeah, well, that's it. There's no for. content, you see. That's the thing. There's nothing there. So it's like... You, Whereas you, if you had content you, and it was like, right, I'm down one, or I'm up one nil, but I need like to score a hat trick with my striker this guy's here for the taking let me push on and fucking have a good yeah, game yeah, yeah, and it opens yeah. up that it's a challenge or if you're down 3-0 at half time and you're like oh, I'm going to quit this match and then you remember oh but I have a dynamic challenge that's like you know don't concede more than 5 goals in a division yeah, match and it's yeah, like yeah. yeah I just need to fucking shut down shop or whatever yeah, and not yeah, going yeah. negative but like you know like literally just play yeah, towards that like, objective you know, get, one game yeah, out of fucking 50 yeah. You know? It's like getting assists with defenders or yeah, or score whatever, from whatever corner crazy. or free kick or something yeah. like that. Yeah, score with a German or something like that. Like yeah. just yeah, just make it yeah, just just make it so that people want to stay in the game. Make it so that they they want to play. Yeah, because at the moment there is nothing to play for, and 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 you know it, it's it's the void. I think that's that's the issue that I think a lot of people have. Yeah, is uh, you know not not to end this on too fine a fashion, but it's 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 the void of not knowing what's to come. Mm. And, you know, next week I'm sure we'll have a bunch of stuff that we'll probably end up dragging up and, uh, you know, in terms time of next like, week oh, we'll, man, we'll, just rip, blow we'll just, we'll just rip this, uh, you know, we'll rip this apart or we'll probably, we, I, I reckon we probably do a live episode with that. Maybe. I think, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, this I time next week, next one. Thursday, maybe I'd say, yeah. Yeah. Could be I a think plan. We'll do, a, do a live one and then, and then we can kind of, you know, take a, take a piece of it. But I think until, until we've got any idea on on all the news, I think it's just a case of yeah, wait and see. It's just a case of wait and see, which yeah. is a, a phrase I absolutely hate because I don't like waiting. And in this fashion, I'm probably not going to like what I see. Yeah. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. But uh, yeah, look, I think it went all right anyway. Hopefully, it's recording all right and the audio and stuff. It looks to be good. We might have just wasted. Yeah, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break my camera after this though because it went out of focus and I've been fuzzy for the last forty <laughs> minutes. And I, I, I don't know how to I get it back into focus you. like that. Like yeah, it's like it's one of them. It's like there you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 it's still no, not it's having it. Back it's out. Still it's not picking it. up light saw, somewhere. Yeah, it's just not having it. Yeah. No. There you go. No. No. Perfect. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah, you man, see? you look crystal right. clear now. Live tech support. Well Fucking done, guys. Tech well support, done. yeah. Tutorials, <laughs> tips and tricks. But yeah, I think we'll end it at that. Um, we'll probably try and get this up either what day? Yeah, either tonight or we tomorrow. Are. I'll probably just yeah. throw it up tonight. To be fair, if I get the ch- if I get the chance at like yeah. maybe nine, um, I'll just upload it because I don't really need to edit it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's always good to chat you as. But as I said, yeah, we'll probably be back hopefully next week. Uh, I'm not too sure are you on that other podcast the the, the who one knows? next week. Who, who, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But might, we'll see. Might, we'll, we'll definitely still do our yeah, thing we'll still anyway. Yeah, we'll still do that bit. Yeah, yeah we'll do that bit. Um, yeah, of course we are. So we'll try maybe do a live next week because what I what we could do is we could get maybe two or three people in and rotate them out, like you know, come in and like have a chat and stuff. Yeah. Um, because we'll probably know about the news by then. Make make it a phone in. Yeah, like a radio show. <laughs> Yeah, okay. make it a phone in. That'd be class. Yeah, we'd actually be good crack. <laughs> yeah, because like at the end of the day, like we always say it, but like we are still passionate about Pez, like and where it's going, yeah. and like even when we're at our most harshest of criticism and we're talking about different things or we're giving feedback or like whether it's you know on the podcast when it's like public or whether it's like you know in private when you're giving like feedback or you're like you know doing things kind of that like you know yeah. that we do like community events before where it's like nda up and all that sort of stuff like you know we we do still we are still very passionate about the series and want the best yeah, for it it's just it, it can be frustrating sometimes that like there's so much potential there with the franchise that you know you don't you just need to keep scratching away the surface to get get to the good the good stuff underneath like but i think you know i think the biggest thing this year will be like you know what we see i think covid will have played a part in it as well and mm. there's a couple of there's a couple of things as well that we can discuss next week as to why things are the way they are i think um yeah and why things will be the way that they are which is like again you know if if you're if you're somebody that's like glass half empty you'll say oh they're just excuses if you're glass half full you'd say yeah actually that's a fairly logical good point and you know whatever so it depends, as we always say, on which which side of the coin of the argument that you want to go on. So, 
Um, I think I think one way or the other, I think it's just it's it's going to be polarizing. Yeah, one it, way is, or the other. it is. It's going to be. But, but, again, be but then again, any any game release that happen, that's been happening over the last well since the dawn of time, yeah, it's probably it's probably been divisive, yep. you know, and it or, and it and it will be. It's just the case that uh, you know, like we said, they just need to be open. They just need to be honest. They just need to be clear. Yeah, that, just that's be clear really with the is. direction that they're going in. That's all I'm asking. If it's if they're fucking deciding to put it as a 3v3 fucking only <laughs> in, indoor indoor mode game or they're deciding to have it just like 11 v 11 like every player is controlled by somebody. on the moon yeah on like the moon, on the moon, moon with right. rocket ships like once they come <laughs> out and they they tell me because i think i think the biggest thing for konami and the biggest thing for people is that like you know if if it's like anything right if if they announce in the morning and i like my analogies as you know but if they announce in the morning right we're going to remake fucking one of your favorite movies ever but it's going to have no the only thing it's going to have in common is the name right there's yeah. going to be no none of the older actors none of the old storylines no literally just using the name right yeah i think once konami come out and say listen like this is exactly what it is it's not yeah. this it's not that this is exactly yeah. what it is then people get to make up their mind and say okay well do i want to spend my year playing this sports game which is that 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 or do I yeah. want to look elsewhere and play more Warzone, play NBA, play more, you know, like anything, anything basically. Like, that's the yeah. thing, because I think people for the last couple of years, if you rightly said, Wes, was like, they're in a halfway house where it's like, it's Pez, but like, you it's know, Pez, it but it's not as yeah, you remember it's like, it. I'm not, it's not as I remember it, and it's not what I grew up with. And it's like, no, it's not. And, like, it's, this not, is new, and, it's, you know? and it's also not what you're enjoying at that yeah. point either. I think that, I think that, that that's, you know, that that's, one of the, you know one of the many reasons as to yeah. why I kind of took a sabbatical this year because it's like it wasn't it, it just wasn't for me anymore yeah. it wasn't but it doesn't mean I don't care about the series it doesn't no, mean that I, I've stopped being a fan of the series it just means that I've sought my enjoyment elsewhere mm. because I'm waiting to see what 2022 does yeah. if 2022 does a bang then it's another year until until such yeah. time that it, it, it comes back to being a game that yeah but you can be like, like you can be the thing about it is man as well is that you can be critical like about what it is like so if pez comes out and it's revealed and it's like this isn't for me like you that's fine but if like you can't be critical on something that it's not you know that kind of way yeah it's yeah, like yeah, expecting yeah. to I'd see like, greatest yeah. acting if you were going down if i'm going down to watch love island with the missus and it's like <laughs> like i'm not expecting to see oscar winning fucking performances or you know what i mean like you're going yeah. it is what it is like and it owns what it is Do you know it, yeah, yeah, yeah it plays into that and i think that all the games play into that fifa play into that that they're like a massive like you know it's it's a cultural thing now you know Fortnite go into it they're adding lebron james and fucking they play into the craziness you know that kind of way yeah yeah, yeah, and yeah. They that's need what i think they need to embrace is the direction they're going in so but yeah, man, let's end it there. We've just gone over, gone over by about ten minutes. Um, so hopefully people enjoy it and they can skip on and you know maybe just probably spend the first ten minutes looking at our faces and be like, oh, this isn't the regular podcast. But nah, for those, gonna roast, those they're gonna roast, they're gonna roast my Tiger Woods looking shirt that I'm wearing. That's what you're gonna do. They're uh, yeah. If those are listening on as normal as well, just in case you you haven't uh, picked up, we are going to be doing a video version of this now as well. So it'll be on YouTube as well said at the start um so you can see the two of us you know in all our glory in all our glory yeah we we'll, we'll have to but we're we're closed now but um oh fuck someone's messaging me now um <laughs> but uh yeah we're good after that we'll be we'll be fucking ready to go next week and yeah pretty much that's it Wes. so i'll end Sweet. it there man yeah take care bro we'll see you next week see you later